It's Friday, June 13th, 2014. Hello, I'm Veronique Masterson. Here's what you need to know about what's happening at the University of Texas at El Paso. A recently released study is the first to ever calculate that complex life could exist on as many as 100 million planets in the Milky Way. The lead author, Dr. Lewis Irwin, UTEP professor emeritus and former chair of biological sciences, said this is the first study that relies on observable data from actual planetary bodies beyond our solar system. The research was published in the online journal Challenges. 18 engineering students just returned from spending four weeks at the University of Piura in Peru. Students spent two weeks in the classroom and two weeks visiting sites related to what they're studying at UTEP. The College of Engineering's Global Program Office offers this unique opportunity for UTEP students to gain international and interdisciplinary experience. This is one of many ways the university provides its students with the tools to be successful in a globally competitive market. Ten other students from different colleges at UTEP also will have the opportunity to study abroad this summer and fall thanks to the Benjamin A. Gilman International Scholarship Program. This is the first year that UTEP students will travel to Shanghai. The deadline to apply for a spring 2015 scholarship is October 7th. And we'll leave you with the graduation celebration of 43 Promotadoras de Salud, or community health workers. The migrant women and men became state-certified community health workers through UTEP's Community Health Workers Training Program. The workers will conduct outreach in underserved communities and raise awareness about intimate partner violence, as well as sexual and reproductive health. Before they can be certified community health workers by the state of Texas, students must complete 1,000 hours of volunteer community service. For more information about these and other stories, check out utepnews.com. I'm Veronique Masterson. We'll see you next Friday. Go Miners!